Everyone was waiting for a black swan. This is it. No one saw it coming, and it will probably trigger the worst economic depression in history, the epitome of a black swan event. Even now that it's here still, few even see it because the infected are only in the thousands now, and people don't understand exponential growth. Every year 5 to 20 percent of people get the flu. This virus has the same contagious level as the flu or worse. 5 to 20 percent of the world is about to get a flu that 5 percent of people die from. China's economy is plummeting, and the country is still feeling the pain of the trade war with America. An outbreak of a new and deadly virus is the last thing the Chinese economy needed. The Wuhan coronavirus, which has killed 56 people and infected nearly 2,000 so far, has already roiled Chinese markets and thrown plans for the upcoming Lunar New Year holiday into chaos for millions of Chinese. If Beijing does not succeed in containing the disease rapidly, it will cause more pain for a country that was already trying to ward off a severe recession by trying to encourage more consumer spending. An epidemic could have the opposite effect. It would be extreme ignorance or complete denial to think that an indefinite quarantine of at least 50 million people and growing will not have an effect on the Chinese or global economy. This could very well be the pin that pops the everything bubble. This is the problem with massive debt load all over the world. It doesn't take much to turn a company from black to red. Once defaults start, banks will drop like dominoes, and every profitless zombie corporation goes to zero as investor confidence of future profits evaporates. I have been saying for years only a black swan brings this house of cards down, and the coronavirus might just be the ticket. The global economy was already sinking into a recession prior to this black swan event. This will certainly pour gasoline on the already declining global economy. The question now is, what will the central banks do? Will they continue to debase their currency and hyperinflate the stock market in an attempt to convince the plebs that everything is awesome? Or will they capitulate and allow the stock market to reflect the true state of the economy? Will coronavirus crater hopes of a global recovery as world trade tumbles? Only time will tell. Welcome to the Atlantis Report. UK researcher predicted that the coronavirus would infect over 250,000 people in China in under two weeks, which has sparked a renewed fear that China will once again try to underrepresent the true severity of the diseases until it is too late. It's pretty obvious to anyone paying attention that the official numbers are bogus. Will it be a pandemic? Who knows? But with a multi-day incubation period and seemingly high contagion factor before symptoms appear, combined with a late response from China, it has that potential. There is also some evidence pointing to it being a lab virus, meaning it was designed to kill. The Chinese are closing down 18 cities and quarantining 56-plus million people during the busiest season in the country. The death certificates are being written up as pneumonia or viral pneumonia rather than coronavirus to keep the official count down. As usual, pay no attention to what they say, just pay attention to what they are doing. And what they are doing is pretty clear evidence they believe this will kill a shitload of people. The economic disaster will be epic. And even if things went to normal tomorrow, massive economic damage has already occurred. Reason enough to cause chaos. This week will cause historic uncertainty for the markets. Empty stores, streets, fear. It ain't so much about the lethality as it is about the ensuing panic. The US, France, and Russia are among several countries trying to evacuate their nationals from Wuhan City. Hong Kong declares a state of emergency and shuts schools. Hong Kong is also suspending flights and train services to Wuhan and will cancel all Lunar New Year celebrations. The Hong Kong Marathon has also been called off. Just the fact of the lockdown of major metropolis and every movie theater in a nation, and Disneyland and Starbucks and McDonald's, airports, train stations, gas stations, etc. The info alone will drive the panic. I find it interesting that just as markets are finishing a vicious liquidity-driven run to new all-time highs, and the authorities are desperately seeking to find some kind of scapegoat for the return to Earth, including the Chinese, that the coronavirus makes its appearance. Have we all learned anything? The only way to have strong economies is to have strong national economies, not a global economy. One wrong move in a global economy, and they all fall. Only strong national economies that are self-sufficient will survive. The global ideology is a stupid one. It centralized power to the very few with no individual rights and leaves us all weak and dependent. 
Critical thinking is that if this were a weaponized bug, it would be a lot more contagious and a lot more lethal. It's a mutated strain of the flu and a wet dream for the medical, industrial complex. Worst case scenario, if this virus is the big one and if the sufferers of flu are infected with this strain of corona and if the kill rate is 15% of those infected. And if there is a 50% kill rate for those over 60 with respiratory difficulties. Then, my guesstimate is 5 million dead in each of Europe and the US, 20 million in each of South America, China, and India, plus 30 million in Africa and 2 million in Russia. All areas where infected Chinese exports and personnel have been deployed. Short term, under one year, there will be a massive supply of housing and liquidation of savings capital in the US and Europe. Lawyers, undertakers, hospital equipment manufacturers, snake oil cure salesmen, crematoria, graveyards, florists, brewers, who purify the water in their beer, plus a bunch of others will see a massive increase in demand for their services. Cessation of global trade with countries with the highest rates of infection, starting with China, then flowing to all those countries closely linked with China. There will be a massive breakdown in law and order and morals. There will be a massive logistics problem disposing of over 100 million dead. This coronavirus is very suspiciously linked to the US-China trade war. First, the attack on their sounder of pigs, then consequently followed by another virus attack on Chinese people, leads me to think of the usual criminal who has no ethical and moral boundary to achieve their political and financial agenda, the full spectrum of global dominance. Social media across all platforms are promoting that Chinese eat all kinds of animals, well it turns out not only Chinese, but people all over the world from different cultures are eating wild animals. The virus attack provides very valuable anti-China propaganda as a deflection from the one who commits the crime of spreading the virus. Given the recent rise and spread of the coronavirus in China, and this recent headline from CNN, the Wuhan virus is the last thing China's economy needs right now, one has to wonder if one of these engineered viruses surreptitiously escaped the lab. It's a horrible thought, but does anyone believe Western agencies wouldn't resort to biological warfare in an attempt to economically cripple China? The death rate for the coronavirus is about 4%, about the same as the Spanish flu that ravaged the world in the early 1900s. The 1918 Spanish flu pandemic January 1918 to December 1920 infected 500 million people around the world, including remote Pacific islands and the Arctic. 50 million to 100 million 3% to 5% of Earth's population died, making it one of the deadliest epidemics in human history. Conclusive evidence about how the outbreak started is lacking. While officials in Wuhan first traced it to a seafood market, some patients who have fallen ill never visited the market. Researchers have also offered disparate explanations for what animals may have transmitted the virus to humans. Initially, coronavirus has taken off in Wuhan, the capital of Hubei province in China. The virus is believed to be somehow related to interaction with animals in Hubei. But what's the probability this virus outbreak was an intentional act by the globalists, and they're just blaming it on bats and snakes? There are many theories about the cause and spread of this virus. I don't know which is correct. A China researcher on Twitter, Ben Talmadge, often a great source of granular details for all things China, has been providing information about China developing biological weapons specifically in the city of Wuhan. Citing a story from July 2019, Talmadge draws attention to a level 4 biological lab in Canada that was infiltrated by Chinese spy scientists, and a biologic agent was removed. What makes this aspect interesting is the location where the Chinese spies returned after they were caught, Wuhan City, the exact place where the coronavirus started. A year earlier, in July 2018, China inaugurated Wuhan Biosafety Level 4 BSL4 lab in the city. It is the only level 4 biological research facility in the country. The Wuhan lab was built precisely to look into dangerous pathogens like the novel coronavirus, which again is reported to have originated from Wuhan city. This just doesn't seem like a coincidence. Reports are this virus escaped from a bio lab, of which several were built to study SARS and other disastrous viruses. It's reported SARS and other viruses have, from time to time, traced back to coming from one of the labs. In my humble opinion, a bio-weapons. We can stop with the vilifying of snakes and bats. This virus likely came out of a bioweapons lab, either accidentally or intentionally. It is a bio-lab leak, whether intentional or not.
a weaponized virus that has always been human to human. Could the coronavirus epidemic be all by plan? A plan by the owners of the world's private central banks. They had originally planned World War III as their cover for the collapse of their massive worldwide Ponzi scheme and debt bubble. However, as World War III has proven hard to start for them, so now they have switched their cover to a worldwide coronavirus epidemic. Are they trying to spread the virus intentionally? Take a person before a major country holiday that is infected with a unique virus in the vicinity of a bioweapons plant. Put them in a room plane, with 100 plus people for 12 plus hours all breathing recirculated air, quarantine one person who shows signs of infection. This feels like a test runs for the real deal. Either from the infection side or the containment side. Testing how protocols are working. Now they can blame China's biological WMD for the stock market coming crashes. This was the Atlantis report. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.